Hi there, welcome along to my first vlog of 2022 and today I wanted to do a 2022 deaths tour. I really enjoy these kind of videos and all of us over the last two years have been taking more and more interest into what people are doing when they work from home. As a musician I primarily work from home and have done for years anyway so I've been super interested in these videos and I picked up some good tips, some nice equipment and things along the way so maybe you'll do the same with this. Please do hit that subscribe button and smash the like button if you haven't already. It will make a huge difference to the quality of the videos that I make. If you're new here my name's Dan, I'm a saxophone fun player and a professional musician. I also do a little bit of work in digital communications in London uh, and yeah this is my little desk tour. First up is the desk itself. The desk itself for me is a set of IKEA kitchen units. Uh, this was recommended to me by a fellow saxophone player called Pete Thomas here in the UK. Uh, I saw Pete's studio desk I was like Pete I love it where do you get it from? How do I get it? Thinking it's going to be a fortune? I said no just IKEA kitchen units. Now I was going to use some of the, uh, the the drawer units for rack mounts but kind of technology has moved on so much in the last 10 years that you don't really need the external rack mounts. The vast majority of work I do for my own work, for my own music, for some of the work I do for other people. Everything's in logic these days so I don't need to put the rack mounts in but it's a pretty good sturdy desk. It's done the job. It's been um, been here. It's been in the studio I had prior to this. It's in the studio I had where I started the vlogs uh, and the one uh, and the two before that as well. So it's been moved around a lot. Um, it's got a couple of screws on the bottom to keep the uh, desk top sturdy. Uh, it's pretty pretty good. I do have a standing desk which I reviewed this time last year which I use when I'm working downstairs but I found particularly in the last few months I've been working more and more up here I need the studio space and so this is my main desk. On the desk you'll find my workhorse, my 2017 27 inch iMac. It comes with a two terabyte fusion drive which had to be replaced last June. The second week of lockdown the hard drive failed. I was not happy. I couldn't get any help from Apple. All the Apple stores were closed. What I had to do was buy an external drive and then run the boot off that. That was a real pain and thankfully in June Apple did repair it. It cost me £400 for the replacement but it's such a good computer it kind of does the job and it just keeps working day after day after day after day after day. Yeah my MacBook Pro is more powerful but what you will see resting on top of it though is a telephone call. Okay. Next to the iMac I have my secondary monitor, my Hewlett Packard monitor. It's a nice big screen. Uh, it is only 1080 HP which means it doesn't kind of translate too well from the iMac but hey I got it for free so. Down below from the HP monitor we have my sound card, my Focus Claret 4. This is brilliant. This is one of my best purchases of the last five years. It's a brilliant brilliant sound card. Offers some great quality warm sound for the saxophone. Everything you hear when I make videos when I'm playing the saxophone that isn't through the camera microphone goes through that Claret Pre 4. I use all my recording stuff goes through there. Very, very, very happy with it. Easy to use controls. I've got to say 80% of the week, 80% of the year kind of stuff. All it's doing is taking the microphone uh, when I'm teaching lessons or doing Zoom calls and stuff like that. But when I'm actually working in the studio, um, trying to record some tracks, it's really, really good. Next up is my Nectar keyboard. I did a review of this back here. You can go and watch that in more detail. But this is a fantastic USB um, dummy keyboard just for kind of playing stuff in into Logic, into Sibelius, that sort of stuff. Um, I've got to admit, again, last few months I've not really used it as much as I did in the beginning. You know, it's kind of one of those lockdown purchases, uh, with those sort of... Um, urge purchases that you'd had and I just kind of thought I wanted a decent keyboard. It's not weighted keys which is a bit of a pain but the other keyboards were uh, moving up. What I do like about it though is it does fit snugly under my iMac and that is a big big plus point for me because it gives me some more desk space. I don't have to have a separate tray to pull the uh, keyboard out on and play so that's really really good. Next up I have the Apple Space Gray keyboard with the, that, the number thing on the end. I really do like the number keypad. It makes a huge difference. I just like you know when I've got to type in a lot of numbers um, there's also the shortcuts in Sibelius. It's mega useful for. I've got to admit Sibelius isn't my favourite piece of software but it does do the job and it's what I've used for 20 odd years so I'm kind of stuck to it now but those keypad for the shortcuts do make a big difference. And next to that I've got the Apple trackpad. Yeah it's a white Apple trackpad that's a pain. I didn't get the, the space grey they didn't have it. Actually that trackpad came with the iMac originally. Uh, the keyboard is a newer purchase and I've seen a few people using trackpads and mouse and I've got to admit again from one of these videos, one of these desk review videos and I really like that. It's nice to have the trackpad uh, and the mouse going at the same time but if I talk about the mouse which is my latest purchase uh, on the mouse 
We have the Logitech MX Master 3, which is a Christmas present from my parents. Really, really like this mouse. Took a bit of getting used to having been on the Apple Magic Mouse, but you know what? You can charge it from a normal port, unlike the Apple Magic Mouse. And it is pretty ergonomic, well, it's very ergonomically comfortable. It's great for moving around. And once you get used to using the three wheels and the little thumb thing, got to admit it's worth the money it is worth the money i was telling you before the before the phone rang about the logitech um webcam the webcam the hd pro webcam why did i get that well because the imax camera is its worst part and one of my students has got the new imax the new colored imax and he was having a lesson before christmas kind of like november time and i was like wow you look really clear and really crisp and he was like yeah, yeah i've got the new imax and i was like Think I'm going to invest in a new camera and actually I'm really really glad because if you're doing a lot of work calls and let's face it we're all going to be doing that from now on and have been for the last two years the quality of your webcam cam is really really important and having the, the softbox above just helps if it's particularly if it's dark um, if it's you know evening lessons or you know calls late into the day and maybe there's not enough natural daylight coming through this light just adds a little bit more light onto me and I'll do a proper review of that camera nearer the time but yeah another really really good purchase that I'm glad I got down to the side of the iMac you have my USB hubs these are all uh, USB 3 and they are all powered and that's basically allowing me to have have 22 terabytes of external storage that's right 22 terabytes I know some people will have more I basically keep all the drone footage I've shot a lot of the time-lapse footage I've done over the years every single vlog episode is saved on that or the whole whole previous 700 nearly uh, videos all my studio lessons for Cambridge saxophone are all stored on there I like to have my backups I like to have everything available I don't necessarily like having to go hunting for it online and everything else like that I've also got backups of all my audio projects album projects sound files compositions everything's on there i really ought to think about a way of getting it back to onto an external server so please don't come around and nick them behind that i've got my klks both these klks are the klk rocket sixes i believe i had the fives beforehand and last year just before christmas i was doing a mixdown project and if you watch the vlog regularly you'll see basically both of them fail within a week of each other with exactly the same fault which was really annoying but i had had 10 years worth of use out of them so i can't complain and pound for pound these are probably the best monitor speakers you can get yes you can get much better quality ones but they're far more expensive these are i think about 150 pounds each so they're pretty cheap and they deliver a fantastic sound quality for the price my next favorite purchase of the last 12 months has been this arm for the microphone because prior to that i had a mic stand next to my desk i was constantly banging into it it was taking up too much room it would get in the way it would be really frustrating it would knock into things it would knock into saxophones or keyboards or anything else like that and i finally got this boom arm and i wish i bought it 20 years ago um they're so much better i remember doing some radio interviews um, a few years ago and going in and they had all these boom thinking oh they're a really really good idea never thought of them again so one of these videos just like mine if this is helpful for you make sure again as i say click the like button um, but these boom mics buy one if you're working on a desk all the time they save so much so much so much room so much room attached to that is an sc440 this is basically an akg 414 copy that i've had for a number of years um i did do some recording on it for a time all this stuff about the sios mouthpieces with the um the mouthpiece challenges and everything we're using that before i got the ev um, re20 for the saxophone so it's a really good mic but it's a really good studio mic um really clear uh, it's basically one of those lovely chinese copies of something that's been going around for years and then finally my final things on the desk are my pencils uh, charlie designed this little pencil uh, case for me as part of a school project a few years ago charlie my son uh, and i still like to have notepads i'm still yes i know i can use stuff on screen but maybe it's part of that kind of being now over four well i'm still 40 i'm not over four i am over 40 aren't i technically anyway i still like to have a bit of analog i still like to write things down and call me toby ziegler whatever from the west wing i do like to have my yellow notepads with a sharpie pen it just helps me get my thoughts down i can jot things down quickly if i've got notes from meetings if i've got things that i need to remember when i'm playing videos for you guys lessons from my students i do like to have my notepads so that's my 2022 desk tour what's on your desk let me know uh, and if you find any of this useful please do uh, drop a comment below i have linked to everything that i have bought with the exception of the desk uh, in the uh, description below and i would really helpful there are affiliate links cost you nothing extra but if you go through it and you find it useful please click through that 
Amazon give me a bit of a kickback for it. It helps. Every little helps, as they say. So thank you very much. It's been great uh, to be back. Um, I hope you find, as I say, found the video useful. More reviews and things coming up in 2022, and maybe a return of the daily vlog when life calms down a little bit. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.